1. The National Traders Convention was held in which Indian city recently? A. Mumbai B. Lucknow C. New Delhi D. Varanasi Show answer. Correct answer C. New Delhi Notes The National Traders Convention was recently inaugurated by the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh in New Delhi. The three-day event is organized by the Confederation of All India Traders, KIT, and it will highlight the issues faced by the traders. On the second day, the Union Finance Minister participated in the event and addressed the traders. She assured that the goods and service tax, GST, would be further simplified. Recently, government constituted a committee under the Revenue Secretary for rationalizing the GST tax structure. 2. Which city plays host to the annual World Future Energy Summit of the year 2020? A. Abu Dhabi B. Riyadh C. Dubai D. Sharjah Show answer. Correct answer A. Abu Dhabi Notes The World Future Energy Summit recently began in Abu Dhabi. The summit is the largest future energy and sustainability event of the Middle East region, which is held annually at the National Exhibition Center of Abu Dhabi. The theme for the 2020 edition of the summit is, Rethinking Global Consumption, Production, and Investment. The event is to be held for four days and several thousand participants and exhibitors from across the world are expected to take part in it. The Climate Innovations Exchange and the Future Sustainability Summit are also organized along with this event. 3. The 7th Conference of Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, India Region, was organized in which city? A. New Delhi B. Mumbai C. Lucknow D. Ahmedabad Show answer. Correct answer. C. Lucknow Notes. The 7th Conference of Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, CPA, India Region, was recently inaugurated in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. The Speaker of Lok Sabha, Om Birla inaugurated the conference at the Legislative Assembly Building in Lucknow. Several parliamentarians and delegates from some foreign countries will participate in the conference, whose theme is, Role of Legislators. The CPA was formed to support the parliamentarians and their staff to implement good governance measures and values of the Commonwealth. 4. What is the name of the exhibition of the Indian Electrical Industry, recently inaugurated by the Union Minister of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises? A. E. L. E. C. A. S. E. B. E. L. E. C. R. A. M. A. C. Electron. D. Electric 2.0. Show answer. Correct answer. B. E. L. E. C. R. A. M. A. Notes, Union Minister of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises, Mo EFCC, Muar and B, Prakash Javadekar inaugurated ELECRAMA 2020 in Greater Noida, Uttar Pradesh. Minister of Power and New and Renewable Energy, IC, RK Singh was also present during the inaugural ceremony. ELECRAMA is organized by the Indian Electrical and Electronics Manufacturers Association, IEEMA, once in every two years. It is an exhibition come conference in the field of Indian electrical industry. The event displays various products and technologies in the field and creates a trade platform between buyers and sellers. It also hosts various seminars for knowledge exchange. Which city is host to the 13th UN Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species, CMS, COP 13, 2020? A. Mumbai B. Madrid C. Gandhinagar D. Tokyo Show answer Correct answer C. Gandhinagar Notes The 13th UN Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species CMS COP 13 is scheduled to be hosted by India in 2020 at Gandhinagar, Gujarat. The COP 13 Conference of Parties is to be held from February 15 to 22, 2020. It was recently announced that the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate the summit. The theme of this year's summit is Migratory Species Connect the Planet and We Welcome Them Home. Is an international seminar organized by which armed force of India? A. Indian Air Force B. Indian Navy C. Indian Army D. Indian Coast Guard Show answer. Correct answer. C. Indian Army.
Notes, a two-day Indian Army International Seminar named Pragyan Conclave 2020 feat is being organized by Center for Land Warfare Studies, closed. The seminar commenced on 4 March 2020 in New Delhi. The event creates a platform for national and international military experts to discuss on the subject of changing characteristics of land warfare and its impact on the military which is the venue of the Civil Aviation Exhibition and Air Show, Wings India 2020. A. Lucknow, B. Mumbai, C. Kochi, D. Hyderabad. Show answer. Correct answer, D. Hyderabad. Notes, the Civil Aviation Exhibition and Air Show, Wings India 2020 feat has commenced in the capital city of Telangana, Hyderabad. It is a biennial event organized by the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, FICCI, Ministry of Civil Aviation and the Airports Authority of India, I. The event was planned to be held for four days but was later reduced to a two-day event from March 12 to 14. Race 2020, which was seen in news, is the first global artificial intelligence summit of which country? A. France, B. United States, C. India, D. United Arab Emirates. Show answer. Correct answer, C. India. Notes, the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology is to organize the first global AI summit in India, RACE 2020. This was in news recently, as the AI summit was postponed to October 5 to 6, 2020 due to the rising number of cases of COVID-19. It was initially scheduled to be held in the month of April. The summit is to be attended by academics, AI startups and big tech firms. Which city is the venue of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization SCORE Summit 2020? A. Street. Petersburg, B. Moscow, C. Beijing, D. New Delhi. Show answer. Correct answer, 8th Street. Petersburg. Notes, the video conference of foreign ministers of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SCORE, was recently held in the backdrop of the coronavirus pandemic. Indian External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar represented India. SCO has eight member states including namely India, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, China, Pakistan, Russia, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan. The SCO summit which was scheduled to be held in the month of July, 2020 at the Russian City Street. Petersburg is expected to be held as per the schedule. Which Association of India recently organized the? Through video conferencing? A. Fikki, B. Ki, C. N. A. S. S. C. O. M. D. F. C. I. Show answer. Correct answer, B. Ki. Notes, Union Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal participated in the Digital Summit on Exports organized by the Confederation of Indian Industry, Ki, during his address through video conferencing, the minister said that he expects the decline in exports to narrow to 8-10% to in the month of June. In the month of April, 28 out of 30 major product groups have witnessed huge decline in exports up to 99%. 11. India organized a Joint Commission on Trade, Economic, Scientific and Technological Cooperation meeting with which country? A. Sri Lanka, B. USA, C. Russia, D. Vietnam. Show answer. Correct answer, D. Vietnam. Notes, recently, the 17th meeting of, India, Vietnam Joint Commission on Trade, Economic, Scientific and Technological Cooperation, was organized via video conference. External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar had represented India and discussed the recent developments with his Vietnamese counterpart Pham Binh Minh. Both the countries deliberated on the strategic partnership and decided to explore cooperation in emerging fields such as space, energy, marine science etc. 12. The Environment Ministerial Meeting of the G20 countries was held under the presidency of which country? A. Saudi Arabia, B. USA, C. UAE, D. Oman. Show answer. Correct answer, A. Saudi Arabia. Notes, the Environment Ministerial Meeting of the G20 countries was conducted under the presidency of Saudi Arabia. The meeting was held in a virtual mode. India was represented by Union Environment Minister Prakash Javadekar.
The meeting focused on various social and economic issues such as anti-corruption, climate, agriculture, digital economy, education etc. 13. Which country is to play host to the virtual G20 Leaders Summit? A. United States B. Japan C. Saudi Arabia D. India Show answer Correct answer C. Saudi Arabia Notes, the G20 Leaders Summit will be organized virtually on November 21-22 by Saudi Arabia, as per the country's recent announcement. It also said that the summit will focus on addressing vulnerabilities resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic. G20 had contributed over US$21 billion United States dollars for the vaccine production and distribution. The bloc also launched a debt suspension initiative for least developed countries. 14. The joint task force that was seen in news recently is associated with India in which country? A. United Kingdom B. UAE C. Japan D. Australia Show answer. Correct answer. B. UAE Notes. The 8th meeting of the India-UAE high-level joint task force on investments was hosted by India in virtual format. The meeting was co-chaired by Union Minister Piyush Goyal and Sheikh Hamd bin Zayed Al Nahyan, member of the Executive Council of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. The joint task force was created in 2012 to boost the economic ties between the UAE and India. 15. In which body was the Resolution Convention on the Prohibition of the Use of Nuclear Weapons adopted recently? A. International Monetary Fund, B. UNFCCC, C. UN General Assembly, D. International Atomic Energy Agency. Show answer. Correct answer, C. UN General Assembly. Notes, in the first committee of the United Nations General Assembly, UNGA, two resolutions sponsored by India were adopted. These resolutions are Convention on the Prohibition of the Use of Nuclear Weapons and Reducing Nuclear Danger under the Nuclear Weapons Cluster. These resolutions are seen as India's commitment towards the goal of nuclear disarmament. 16. The Gulf Cooperation Council, GCC, is headquartered in which city? A. Dubai, B. Riyadh, C. Bahrain, D. Sharjah. Show answer. Correct answer, B. Riyadh. Notes, the Gulf Cooperation Council, GCC, is headquartered at Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. India held Troika-level talks with the Gulf Cooperation Council, in a virtual mode. The Indian delegation was led by External Affairs Minister Drive. S. J. Shankar. Senior representatives from UAE, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Bahrain and Qatar also participated in the meeting. 17. Which country hosted the 4th India-Sri Lanka-Maldives trilateral meeting on maritime security cooperation? A. India B. Sri Lanka C. Maldives D. Japan Show answer. Correct answer. B. Sri Lanka Notes. The 4th trilateral meeting on maritime security cooperation between India, Sri Lanka and Maldives was hosted by Sri Lanka. It was held in Colombo and India was represented by the National Security Advisor Ajit Doval. The earlier such meetings were held in Maldives 2011, Sri Lanka 2013 and in India 2014. 18. In which year the Paris Climate Agreement of UNFCCC was signed? A. 2000 B. 2010 C. 2016 D. 2019 Show answer Correct answer, C. 2016. Notes, the Paris Climate Agreement is an agreement of United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC, that was signed in the year 2016. This year marks the fifth year anniversary of the Paris Climate Agreement. The Paris Agreement has set a goal to keep global average temperature well below 2 degrees C, 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit, above pre-industrial levels. UK is hosting a global summit to mark the day. 19. Which country is to chair the Taliban and Libya sanctions committees and the counterterrorism committee of UNSC? A. United States B. India C. China D. Sweden Show answer. Correct answer. B. India.
Notes, India has been asked to chair three important committees in the UN Security Council. India has just begun its two-year tenure as non-permanent member of the powerful 15-nation council. The Taliban Sanctions Committee, also known as the 1988 Sanctions Committee, the Libya Sanctions Committee, also called the 1970 Sanctions Committee, and the Counterterrorism Committee are the crucial committees. 20. Praramb, which was making news recently, is a summit related to which scheme? A. Kelo India, B. Startup India, C. Ayushman Bharat, D. PM Avas Yojana. Show answer. Correct answer, B. Startup India. Notes, Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, DPIIT, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, is to organize Praramb, Startup India International Summit, on 15 and 16 January 2021 in a virtual format. The summit is expected to bring together top policy makers, academia, industry, startups and innovators from around the world. Regional organization has adopted a new counterterrorism strategy. A. Sark, B. ASEAN, C. BRICS, D. G77. Show answer. Correct answer, C. BRICS. Notes, the regional organization comprising of Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, BRICS has recently adopted a new counterterrorism strategy. During the virtual annual summit of BRICS held recently, the BRICS countries reaffirmed their commitment to counter international terrorism and its financing. Russia hosted the virtual summit. 22. In which country is the Shabahar port located? A. Afghanistan, B. Pakistan, C. Iran, D. Oman. Show answer. Correct answer, C. Iran. Notes, India, Iran and Uzbekistan are on discussion about the joint use of Shabahar port, located in Iran. In this regard, a joint trilateral meeting would be held to deliberate regarding the same. The trilateral meeting would be held in a virtual mode and is set to be chaired by the DY. Minister of Iran, DY. Minister of Uzbekistan and Senior Foreign Ministry Official from India. 23. What is the name of the promotional activity of the India International Science Festival, which is in the news recently? A. Vigyan Yatra, B. Vigyan Parikshit, C. Vigyan Sammelan, D. Vigyan Festival. Show answer. Correct answer, A. Vigyan Yatra. Notes, Vigyan Yatra is the name of the promotional activity of the India International Science Festival. Mobile science exhibition vans were flagged off from many cities as a part of the activity to promote the culture of science among the people. The sixth edition of the India International Science Festival to be organized from December 22nd to 25 on a virtual platform due to the COVID-19 pandemic. 24. First Virtual Expo 2021 for R&D has been organized recently in which sector? A. Telecommunication, B. Marine Technology, C. Healthcare, D. Food Processing. Show answer. Correct answer, D. Food Processing. Notes, the first Virtual Expo 2021 for R&D in processed food sector has been organized recently by the Union Ministry of Food Processing and Industries. The expo is aimed to showcase the outcomes of projects supported by the ministry through some of its leading food technology institutions. A portal displaying various researches undertaken in the food processing sector was also launched during the expo. 25. Which country hosted Online International Climate Adaptation Summit, CAS Online? A. Sweden, B. Netherlands, C. United Kingdom, D. Australia. Show answer. Correct answer, B. Netherlands. Notes, the Netherlands government played host to an online international climate adaptation summit, CAS Online, on 25 January 2021, under the leadership of Prime Minister Mark Rutte. It aims to help the countries build a climate-resilient ecosystem back after the pandemic Indian Prime Minister participated in the virtual conference and addressed the members. The Global Centre on Adaptation GCA, released a State and Trends in Adaptation 2020, which said global funding must be increased tenfold to meet the UNEP's climate risk mitigation data. 26. India